Well, we're going to start with the um, class number 13, my friends. People pass yes, no questions. So, uh, what do we have here is uh, the class number 13. Imagine we have just seven classes left. Solo siete clases nos queda. So, very, uh, the time is passing by so quickly. So, let's see who do we have here. Evelyn, good evening, Evelyn. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Okay, everything okay? No problem today? Yeah, no problem. Okay, I like to hear that. What about Guillermo? Hello, my friend. How are you doing? I'm fine, teacher. And you? How are you? Okay, very nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm really good. Guillermo, are you working tomorrow? Mm, yes. <laughs> really? Yes. Well, they, they're going to pay uh, double. Double, yeah. It is because it is a day off. Yeah, exactly. and like extra hours, day off or vacations are like uh, they pay twice. So you can say, oh, yes, yes. It's convenient for me, right? Right. I mean, my chief ends at uh, 2.30 p.m. Then I want to I wanna go to, to see the games. Ah, so you you are you are finishing your job at two thirty p.m. Yes. Hey, come on, that sounds really good. It's like yeah, acceptable, very acceptable. So, yeah, do it, my friend. Yeah, you can go and watch some games. Why not? Right, take advantage of the time. Okay, thank you, Guillermo. I like to to hear good news. And here we have also Daniel. Do we have Daniel here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, how are you tonight, my friend? Very well. Very well. Okay, Um, do you work tomorrow, Daniel? No, no. No, okay, day off for you. Thank you. What about John? Good evening, John. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Okay, how are you tonight, John? Um, I am good, teacher. I day like, um, but I feel good. I'm ready to learn. Perfect. And uh, are you working tomorrow? Yes. Yes, I have night shift. Okay. Working tomorrow. Yes, another person who works tomorrow. He we have also Susie. Good evening, Susie. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Are you working tomorrow, Susie? No, teacher. Okay, nice day off. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. I let you hear that. Even if you work tomorrow, it's okay. If you have like extra money, why not? So take advantage. As I always say, uh, it is good to take advantage of some opportunities. Okay. Well, simple path, yes, no questions. And before we continue, here we have uh, the first speaking activity. Would you adopt a boy? or a girl, yes or no? And tell me why. Uh, maybe you are planning to have kids or maybe you are planning to adopt some kids. Maybe that depends on the quantity of money, depends on the family, depends on different things, okay? So maybe we can have some opinions about it. Uh, maybe John, what do you think about this, John? Would you adopt a boy or a girl or maybe not? Um, of course, um, okay. I thought I could be wrong, but it, I had the means I could glad you to eat. Okay, very important word if you have the means. Yeah, it is like you can provide a good environment, a home, okay, and like uh, emotional affections, of course. It could be a good idea. Thank you. What about Guillermo and then uh, Daniel? Okay, Guillermo, what do you think about this? Mm, well, I I wouldn't uh, do it because I don't want to have uh, kids. Oh, okay. You're planning for the future, maybe working, traveling, but kids are not in your plans, right? No, I mean... Oh. 
¿Cómo se dice? Si pasa, pasa, pero yes, <ríe> no es algo it, que esté en mis planes realmente. Yes, it is not part of your plans, and that's okay. Remember, we have a life plan, and uh, we have different objectives, different goals. Sí, pero todos me dicen que quizás sería un buen padre. Quizás porque me ven que, como soy con mi sobrina, entonces... Yeah, uh -huh. I, I guess... Uh, I guess most of men and women, uh, we have that internal feeling that is like paternity. Uh, believe me, we can be really paternal with, with kids, with uh, nieces or, or nephews. So, yeah, maybe, maybe in the future. Okay, thank you, Guillermo. What about if we listen to Daniel and then Susie? Okay, Daniel. Hi. Uh, in my case, um, really, no, but in the case of my wife, I am sure, yes. Okay, okay. So, yeah, depends on her as well, right? Yeah, and depends also if you want to have more kids or maybe adopt, so it could be an option. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, what about Susie? And then Evelyn. Um, I think that I will adopt a boy or a girl. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be sometime that will fill me with a lot of love. Okay, yeah, very nice. Yes, I, I consider it is, it is true. Thank you. Thank you. Here we have also, uh, let me see, David. What about you, David? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, yes, I will adopt a boy mm -hmm. uh, because I already have a girl in my house. So I will have the, the couple. Yeah, the couple, it is good, right, to, to, to share time. And the family could be like uh, with more variety. Thank you, David. And Evelyn, mm -hmm. what about you, Evelyn? Maybe yes, maybe not. No. At not the really. Moment, no. Okay, by the I... moment, not. It is not part of your plans now, right? Okay, not mm -hmm. by the moment. Thank you. Okay, Um, we're going to, I'm going to check the attendance list, but here, I'm going to present um, this, this vocabulary, uh, ways to say you're welcome, formas para decir eh, de nada, cuando alguien le dice thank you, gracias, appreciate, you can say tour, no worries, you got it, no problem, anytime, I'm happy to help, it's a pressure, not at all, don't mention it, okay? Sure, seguro, no worries, no te preocupes. You got it, como decir got it, pero con T al final. You got it, no problem, con M al final, no problem. Anytime, I'm happy to help. It's my pleasure, not at all. Don't mention it, okay? So I'm going to call you one by one. Remember to say hi, hello, good evening. And please mention one of these phrases. Okay. I don't know if Adi is here. I guess she's not, right? Okay. Ana Cristina. Elias. Um, Rivas. Okay. Um... Claudia, Marcela, Daniel. Present. Okay, thank you. Sure. Okay, okay, very nice. Sure. Okay, what about David? No problem. No problem, good. And what about Alejandra? Not here, Evelyn. Present anytime. Okay, good. Anytime. Nice. Graciela, I don't know if Graciela is here. 
Okay, uh, maybe we can have Guillermo. No, you got it. Good one. Jose, not here, right? John? Hello, Good John. Evening, Good evening, everybody. Uh, it's my pleasure. Good, it's my pleasure. Nice. Katia, I guess she's a listener. Maritza, I don't know if Maritza is here. Uh, Marvin, not right. Noe, are you there, Noe? Yes, yeah, present teacher. Okay, my friend. What about your phrase? Not at all. Not at all. Okay, thank you. Uh, Gustavo? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. No problem. No problem. Thank you. Oscar, do we have Oscar here? Maybe not. Rosalie, I guess it's listener. Susie? Hi, teacher. Good evening. And uh, no worries. No worries. Thank you. And Teresa. What about Teresa? I guess no. Okay. So uh, let's move. And let's continue. We were studying. We were studying the simple past yesterday. So for this case, uh, we're going to use negative sentences. Eh, sugiero que veamos estos y la vamos a pasar a negativo. Esto es bastante práctico, fácil. Veamos acá y ya les consulto. Negative sentence. Okay, negatives are so easy because we have to add just the word didn't. Es tan fácil eh, los negativos porque tenemos que agregarle solo la palabra didn't and bingo. Eso es lo único. The verbs are in the base form. Los verbos están en su forma base, so we're not going to have problems. We're going to start with uh, Daniel and then John. Okay, select one of these, please. The number one, mm -hmm. I, I didn't work to work last week. Perfect, John and Evelyn. Uh, number two, he didn't study computer for five years. Thank you. Evelyn, and then we go with David. They didn't wait for the car. They didn't arrive. Okay, thank you. We go with David and Noe. We didn't marry in a church. Yes, that's it. Noe, and then we go with Guillermo. Okay, number six. Um, Ellen didn't wait for an hour. Thank you. Okay, we go with... Um, David, right? Ah, no, Guillermo, and then Susi. Okay, number five, it didn't end at 6 p.m. Thank you. Okay, uh, we go with Susi, and then we Num go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> number seven, you didn't like the movie, I didn't. Okay, thank you. Uh, what about uh, John again? Number eight, um, Bo didn't need that book yesterday. Easy, right? Thank you. Okay, we go with Noé and then Gustavo. The teacher didn't help the student after class. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and Gustavo, please. 
uh, number nine, uh, they they didn't use it, my new pen. Use, uh -huh, my new pen. Thank you. Okay, now, if we want to change these verbs, si queremos cambiar estos verbos en pasado, hay que agregarles ed, okay? So, si las queremos afirmativas. And remember, como les dije la vez pasada, como se termina en que la pronunciación es con T, ¿verdad? I walked to work last year. Eh, aquí se pronuncia con ID. It ended at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Igual que aquí. Waited o waited. Ok. Igual acá. Todas estas son regulares, así que deben de llevar ED, pero la pronunciación cambia. Both needed that book yesterday. We already know that. Ya sabemos eso. We don't have problems with this, right? So let's move now. Here we have some other worksheets. Okay. Eh, tenemos estas, pues, eh, para ir finalizando. Vamos a utilizar eh, parte de las... Let me check. Vamos a utilizar parte del material. There, there was a list. Había una lista de... Ok. There was a list of verbs. Había una lista de verbos que yo les había dado. Ok. I'm looking for this. I guess I have it here. Okay, just give me a second. Okay. There is a list that I uh, send you, well, that I sent to you, just uh, present and simple past. Solo tiene el presente y el pasado simple, right? So this is more uh, like, it is not complicated. So, la mayoría de esos verbos, most of these verbs are here. So we have present tense and here we have past tense. Present tense and past tense, okay? You have this uh, image in your cell phone because I sent that. So what are we going to do? In this case, here we have 10 sentences. The first sentence, look at this. The first sentence is in affirmative, in simple past. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do number nine, okay? Number nine. This is the example. You saw Helen. So we have to identify uh, the verb. Vamos a identificar el verbo. En este caso es so, okay? So, so what are we going to do? We're going to look for that verb, so, here. Sing. Uh huh. Sí. You already know, right? So here we have oh. so in the past, but in present it is present tense. Sí. Yes. Here we have. Look at this number sixty-five. So, so here we have C. Why? Because we have to use the negatives. Como vamos a utilizar el negativo, tenemos que utilizarlo de esta manera. Helen. So I'm. I'm sorry. You saw Helen. But you, you're going to change the negative, didn't see, tell you. Okay, so it says, you saw Helen, but you didn't see Celia. Estamos diciendo, tú viste a Helen, pero no viste a Celia. So all of these uh, spaces are for negatives. Aquí está el ejemplo. 
¿ok? Vamos a utilizar el mismo verbo, solo que en su forma base, es casi como presente, pero a todos les vamos a agregar didn't, ¿ok? Maybe we can have... Podemos hacer una captura. Vamos a trabajar en equipo. Tell me, Noé. Yes. Oh, ya está listo. Yeah. Ok, but we're going to wait in, in couples para tener como mayor claridad y, y darles un poco de tiempo para que busquen los verbos. I know you already know a lot of verbs. But maybe okay, we like can... It. Thank you, Noé. But maybe you have already the screenshot. Vamos a ver si ya enviaron esta... Maybe John. Okay, thank you, John. So in this case, here we have the example. I need you to work in pairs. Trabajamos en equipo. Tomen el tiempo para ver los verbos. Okay, we have the list of verbs. So we're not going to have any problem. Right? In this moment, I'm going to... Send some of you. Okay, see you in a moment, my friends.
Okay, um, I know you have already the answers. So let's see, uh, maybe we can start with some of these. Noe, could you help me please? What number? Okay, number three. Keep okay, out a go. new car. Mm -hmm. He bought a new car. He didn't buy a second hand car. Yes. Very nice. He didn't buy a second hand. Uh, second hand cars are very common here in El Salvador, right? In the yeah, use a car. Of... Yep. And it's we you can get some cars from the agency or or a second hand car. Uh, there are common uh, importations, right? From another yeah. country, especially in the United States. It's kind of business, right? I don't know how is it going that business, Noe. Uh, yeah. I have seen a lot of cars, but they are kind of expensive. Second hand car, but very expensive, right? Yeah, it depends on the brand of the car mm -hmm. and the specification, engine, transmission, every that. Yeah, because uh, they have to, well, mechanics in here try fix those cars and they, yeah. they look really nice. Okay, that's yeah. another option to have cars here. Yeah. Thank you, Noe. Yeah. And what about John and then Guillermo? Okay, John, select one. Okay, number, let me see. Number one. Mm -hmm. uh, they saw or sat there by they didn't swing on Sunday. Yes, they swam mm -hmm, on Saturday, but they didn't swim. Thank you. Guillermo, and then we go with uh, Maritza. Okay, uh, number number two. Mm -hmm. I went to work on Monday, but I didn't go to work on Tuesday. Very nice. I didn't go to work on Tuesday. Good one. Uh, Maritza, and then Evelyn. Okay, Maritza, please select one of these numbers. Number eight. Mm -hmm. I ate spaghetti for dinner, but I didn't eat anything for lunch. Yeah, very nice. Uh, okay, we go now with uh, Evelyn, and then we go with uh, David. Number six. Mm -hmm. They didn't do. Could you read the complete sentence, please? Could you read the complete sentence, please? Pedia didn't do. No, te pedía que leyera la la completa la oración, pero aquí está bien. They did things at the school, but they didn't do things at the university. Signs. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, they did science at school, but they didn't do science at the university. Thank you. We go with David and then Daniel. Number seven, teacher. Mm -hmm. He slept well last night, but he slept well. The, pardon. He slept well last night, but he didn't sleep well the night before. Okay, okay, nice. Uh, just one thing. And the first uh, part, uh, he slept. Es el pasado. Slept. Yes, sí. he slept well last night. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, we go with Daniel and then Gustavo. One number. Okay, if Daniel is not ready. He yes, is Daniel. Ready. Um, use... Um, quiero ver cuál falta. Yeah, she, number four, she learned French in, in high school. Learned, no sé si es eh, learned. Uh -huh, he didn't learn. Mm -hmm. yeah. He didn't learn French in primary school. Okay. We go now with Gustavo and then Susie. Okay, Gustavo. Okay, teacher. Then number five. Mm -hmm. We we got uh, we got 
early this morning uh, we get we didn't get mm -hmm. early yesterday get up mm -hmm. didn't get up yes thank you okay so see what about you nine or ten uh number nine mm -hmm. you saw helen but you didn't see celia mm -hmm. okay and here we have this maybe guillermo could help me with the number 10 they live yes sir and they lived in fairfield they didn't live in Cabramata. Yes, Cabramata. Okay, uh, if you notice, maybe affirmatives are more complicated than negatives. Because in negatives, we have just to add didn't and the verb with the base form. But in affirmative, we have to fight with irregular verbs in past, with ed and different pronunciations. So this is like kind of uh, easy, okay? Here we have this. When is the right time to tell a kid that he or she was adopted? Imagine, this is an, a hypothetic situation, not real. But let's imagine this happens to you. Imagine you have an adopted kid. And you have to say uh, him or her when is the right uh, that he or, or she is adopted. When is the right time? Cuando sería el momento adecuado o el tiempo adecuado? Maybe I would like to listen, Susie. Maybe you have an idea about this, Susie. Susie. Okay, maybe she's... Not... Yeah. Estoy mm -hmm. pensando, espérame, teacher. Ok, no tiene... Bueno, entonces todo el tiempo. Vamos a ver con John, maybe. Ok, um, for me, it depends mm -hmm. if it is a girl or a boy okay. who, is, who is very awake and mature and he is a take is a daily at 16 years okay you consider is maybe a good uh, age okay uh, very important aspects that you mentioned uh is like if he or she is kind of smart intelligent and also mature very mature. important because that depends how they are going to receive that uh, that information right maybe they can accept or maybe they are going to to avoid that but well very good point 15 years yes could it be a good age thank you John. okay let's listen to guillermo and then maritza okay uh, for me uh, the right time to tell uh, i keep I'm so sorry. Uh, I had some difficulties with my internet. I'm sorry, Guillermo. Uh, please, could you repeat your, your, your opinion? It's important. Okay. Uh, for me, uh, I think that it's, very, uh, it's better um, to, to talk with the kid when they are like teenagers and for the the age that they have in in that moment if you do that when they are um, just kids um 
I know it's like awkward, como incómodo. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, it is not like pleasant. It is a really complicated uh, conversation, right? So yeah, teenagers, could it be like more acceptable age, right? If you have that conversation, when, as you mentioned, when they are kids, maybe they're going to have a really negative attitude. And it's like a self-defense, okay? Could it be in that way? Thank you, Guillermo. Okay, let's listen to Maritza and then Noe. Okay, Maritza. In my case, when I consider the right time, maybe I would not tell him. Okay, know. good option. Mm -hmm. Not tell him. No. Never. Mm, I don't know. The, depends. Maybe when I grow. Okay. Maybe when they are like uh, older, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's another option not to tell him here. Thank you. Uh, we go now with Noe and then Evelyn. Okay. I think the right age to tell the child, girl or boy, anyways, um, it could be 16 years old because they are more mature to understand that, right? So you can say then you are adopting and maybe he can take some I don't know difficult but they are more mature to understand that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, also mention to, to them that you love him or love her in the same way yeah. that nothing yeah. is going to change, right? And you are there for supporting him or her. Yeah. Could it be, if you notice, your opinions are kind of similar related to the age because you said teenagers, 15, 16. Yeah, it's in that way. Thank you. Very important and interesting points of view. Uh, Evelyn, are you ready? From the beginning to that there are no misunderstanding players. Okay, thank you. Yeah, could it be? What about uh, Gustavo? Okay, if Gustavo is not there, uh, Susie, now are you ready? Yes. Okay. Um, I think teacher, he should know since we has little oh okay. es como decirlo <laughs> este looking for the right way to teach him the type of family he belongs to mm -hmm. okay so yeah. you 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 your point is that from the very beginning right it could be yes. like helpful for for them to have a very a, a very clear idea about their origin. Okay, so thank you. Uh, what about if we go with um David? Okay, teacher. In in my opinion, I think that a good moment is. When the boy or girl has a um, maturity to understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, maturity to understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could it be? And in what age do you consider? Yeah, I consider que podría. It's maybe possible. Fifteen? Fifteen, okay. Yeah, could it be like fifteen years old? Okay, thank you. Good, and we're going to listen. Daniel, please, what's your opinion about this? Daniel, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I don't know what is the best moment, but I think that in this case, I would like to uh, seek help from a psychologist because I don't know Okay, uh, you look for assistance, right? 
advisory assessoria, right? From psychologists to have a better a better idea. Okay. Good point. Thank you. Okay, and here we have some readings. Tenemos algunas lecturas acá. Let's take a look. Eh, ya la vamos a leer. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, the parts that I need you to read. Okay, I'm going to call the, the first uh, John and then Noe. Please, John, you go the first. Miss Mrs. Mendoza, I had a problem. Miss Mendoza, I had a problem with the fiber system, but but a technician can to help me with it. Thank you. Okay, uh, Noe and then Maritza. He sold. We saw it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me a piece of brook. Okay. Uh, Maritza? He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand. It besides all that I forgot to mention that he came very late. Thank you. Good. Now let's listen to Mr. Torres. In this case, we're going to start uh, with uh, Daniel, and then we go with David. Okay. I had I had a problem with the car's car's engine, so I called for an assistance. The mechanics was really key kind. Thank you. Yes, the mechanic was really kind, and uh, let's listen to David. And after David, we go with Gustavo. Okay. He was he he was he was there really fast, and he was quick 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 to fix my car's problem too. Two. Thank you. Okay, and let's listen to Evelyn. He gave. He gave me details about the uh, incident. Uh, he gave me a report of it. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Susie, are you there? Then. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. And everything was perfect. Okay. So here we have two descriptions of experiences, okay, with two companies, uh, Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres, okay? So let's move with uh, this part. Read the information again and answer, okay. Uh, here we have uh, questions. Did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? Did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? Mrs. Mendoza. Okay. John, what do you think? Yes or no? Mrs. Mendoza. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I had a yes, problem. He has, uh, yes, he has a problem with the payment. Yes, he says with the payroll system, que el sistema de planillas, verdad, de pago. So, Mrs. Mendoza is Señora Mendoza and Mr. Torres is el Señor Torres. Thank you. Okay, we go with number two. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? His Mr. Torres called his best friend 
for help. Noe, what do you think? Do you think uh, the mechanic was Mr. Torres' friends? Mm, I don't know who would be, but if you read the, the, the first phrase, I think the mechanic would be work for a, a business. Okay. Yeah, pray with the cards. So I called for assistance. Yeah. The mechanic was really kind, okay? Maybe not, he was not a, a, a Mr. Torres' friend, but he was very good. Yeah, to fix the Muy car. amable. Very, yeah. Yes, and he was very effective because he fixed yeah. the car. Mm -hmm. Like me. And the, <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, Mr. Torres is describing. No, okay, good for you. No, I, I'm pretty sure that you are a good mechanic. Thanks. Okay. Uh, we continue this. And here, let me see. Look, here we have the other part. We already started affirmatives, negatives, and now we're going to use questions for the past. So pay attention to this. I'm going to select some of you to read in a moment. Camaruna later. Okay, here we have just no questions. If you notice, the first word is did. El verbo, la palabra principal es did. In presente, in present, we use do or does. Okay? Do for most of the subjects, but does is for third person. ¿Se recuerdan ese relajo? El do y el does, ¿verdad? Das para yes. terceras personas. Okay. Very complicated. Yeah. Yes, kind of complicated because you are looking for you, do. Okay. Do you, do we, uh, does she, but when you say does my boss, yeah, kind of tricky. But in the past, it is very easy because you use did for everybody. Utilizan did para todos. No importa. Aquí no importan las terceras personas. Okay. That's really... Uh, practical. So, did, la clave es el did y también el verbo en su forma base. No complications. Mira, sencillo. Verbo en su forma base. Como las negativas. For negatives, we use didn't and base form verbs. For question, we use did at the beginning and base form verbs. Okay, we're going to start with Guillermo. Could you read the first three sentences, please? Well, the first two sentences. Okay. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Mm -hmm. Did she pay extra money? Okay, good. And for this, here we have two answers. Llamas un mecánico para que revise tu carro? Yes, I did. Sí, lo hice. No, I didn't. No, no lo hice. Did she pay extra money? Ella pagó dinero extra. Yes, she did. Sí, ella lo hizo. No, she didn't. No, ella no lo hizo. Okay. So let's listen to Rosalie. Maybe Rosalie, could you uh, read um, questions three and four? Okay, teacher. Did we receive or a report? The, did they sign the letter? 
Yeah, did they sign the letter? Okay. And here we have the these answers. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Yes, they did. No, we did. Okay. So in this case, uh, we have to create yes, no questions. Estas son preguntas cerradas, closed questions. Porque la respuesta solo va a ser yes or no. Por eso son cerrados. Okay, so here we have this. Let's take a look at this. Le puedo dar un par de minutos. Please read these uh, answers. Lean estas respuestas. Y vamos a crear las preguntas para estas eh, respuestas. Pueden ver las cinco. John, ¿se puede ver las cinco hasta esta parte? Yes. yes. Ok, ok. Lo voy a hacer un poquito para arriba. Ok. So, sí, en un momento. Ya, ya vamos a completar eso. Traten de, de, de hacer dos o tres, please. Ya les consulto. Okay, let's listen. Some volunteers. Here we have five questions. I know some of them are not so easy. David, you have yours, and then Rosalie. Okay, David, tell me uh, one. Number number one. Is, uh, did you send the email? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aquí está el signo de pregunto, por eso no se lo agrego. Yeah, did you send the email? Yes, I did. I sent the email. Thank you. Uh, Rosalie? And number three. Mm -hmm. Did the car turn on again? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did the car turn on again? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, who else? Quien más? Uh, Guillermo, please. Number uh. Okay. Uh, here are Guillermo and then Susi. Okay. Uh, did they check the pack the package? Number two, right? Okay. Yes. Very nice. Susi, uh, what number you were saying? 
Esa había hecho yo. Ah, number two, vale. okay. You have number four or five. Voy a lo que pasa es que eh, como Guillermo me levantó el, el emoji de, de, de la mano, entonces, ajá. Está bien, ya voy a hacer las otras, a ver si logro. Ok. Noé, what about you? Number five. Mm -hmm. Did he buy a new tire? Yes. Ok. Thank you. Ok, number four. Any, anybody wants to try number four? Tomar quien intenta. Did you receive a new copy of the receipt? Mm -hmm. Ok, aquí podemos decir, va, podemos decir did you o did we, pero normalmente cuando decimos did you, ustedes. Y la respuesta, no, nosotros no. So, did you? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Look, easy. So the answer, no, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Quiero mostrarles algo. I know uh, you may think. Sé que algunos de ustedes pueden pensar that you, you consider that you have few verbs in your list, in your memory. But let me tell you that I consider that you have a lot. But sometimes the problem is that we don't remember quickly. No nos acordamos rápido de, de, de los verbos. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Imagine if you have twenty. One, two, three, four, five. You have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, imagine here we have two hundred verbs. They don't look like two hundred verbs. No se ven como doscientos verbos. But you know, here there are a lot of verbs that you know, and there are some others that are easy. Ve, tenemos un montón que son lógicos. Vamos a ver. Díganme algunos verbos que parecen lógicos para ustedes. ¿Cuáles son los lógicos? Los que se le denominan cognates. Cognates are verbs that are similar in English and Spanish. Algunos son súper eh, similares y otros que se parecen. Cuando decimos order, ¿qué se nos viene a la mente? What comes to our mind? A order, orden, ordenar. ¿Ok? And here we have some others. Mm, destroy. Prefer. Inform. Retor. Increase. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have some some difficulties with my coffee. <laughs> so um, you were saying, tell me. Uh, and tell me the column. Díganme el número de columna, okay? No, or ju just tell me the verb. I'm going to locate. Lo voy a ubicar, okay? And who was going to say? I don't know who 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 is ready. Let's look for logical verbs. Busquemos verbos lógicos. Uh, destroy. Okay. Uh, destroy. I'm sorry. Voy a quitar. Ahora no levanten el emoji, solo activen el micrófono y díganme, porque como para que utilice toda la, 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 
la, la pantalla, he minimizado la, donde salen sus rostros. So she can destroy. Thank you. Who else? ¿Quién más? Danny. Return. Ok. Deny, maybe. Return. Yes. Who else? Column Co seven. Which one? Number seven? What? Prefer. Prefer. Yeah, prefer. Ok, prefer. thank you. Who else? Produce. Ho hope. Cost. Produced. Cost. Cost, 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 cost. The last one. Ok. Sorry. Yeah. Control. Thank you. Coast. Control. Con... Yeah. Another. Experience. Okay. Experience. Continue. Yes. Other. Continue. Okay. Row, yeah. row Correct. Four, row four. Exit. Exit. Okay. Speak. Uh, speak. Mm, speak de hablar, no creo. Mm, no es como experience, exist, destroy. Ex speak es porque ya lo conocemos, pero no es un verbo que se parezca al, al español. Complete. Ok, complete. Se dan cuenta que con C hay bastante que se parecen. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Consist también podría ser. Row, Miren. row, invite, invite. Contain, Contain también. Yes, invite. Invite, yes. Report. Contribute. Report are. Ok. Prepare. Prepare. Depend. Ok. Provide. Uh, de depend. Depe depend. Describe. Mm -hmm. Check. Mm -hmm. Check. Okay. Row Sound. Result. Sound. Ah, with S, round, sound. Round like sound. Sound. Yes. yes. Offer. Offer, of course. Oh, 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 offer. Faltan todavía. We have more. Talk. Identify. Mm, talk, de, de, de platicar, no creo. Es como speak, no, no creo que se parezca. Talk. Quizás ese no. I'm sorry, Remove, you have... repeat. Ok, este es también, ¿verdad? Remove, repeat. Remember. Mm, mm. Quizás mm. porque hay un verbo que se llama remembrar, tal vez por eso. Pero remember con recordar, no mucho. Tal vez con remembrar. Mm -hmm. y that's mm. a real verb in Spanish. Receive. Oh. Receive. Reduce. Okay, Ro reduce. Study. Okay, reduce. I'm sorry. Wonder. Correct. In Correct. column seven. Column seven. The last. Yeah. Thank you. Reduce. Como reduce fat fast. Do you remember? <laughs> and with T, you, you said another. Okay. Collect. Okay. Visit. Yes. Visit. 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 Yeah. Roll, roll my study. That, yes. Study. Estudiar. Study. Yes. Of course. Use. Use. Okay. State podría ser. Stay. Stay, quedarse. State. Estoy buscando. Tengo sell, say. 
sleep, teacher? Sleep. Dormir, no. No, no, no creo. Tal vez, ¿saben and, qué otro? And Limit. press. Express o press. Press. Bueno, también express, pero vamos a ver. P. You're saying P. Point. Perform. Open, press. Miren, prevent. Prevenir. Prevenir. Identify. Wonder. Limit. Um, push. push. Protect. Ya vieron que compré bastante. Protect. Eh, Provide. Yeah, proveer, provide, maybe, yeah, yeah, could it be? Row five, it might. Okay. Ima imagine like John Lennon songs, okay? Yes. Yeah. Identify. Limit. Okay. Yes. Um, limit. Mm -hmm. limit. Like speed limit, do you remember? Yeah. Influence. So, por ejemplo, influence, yes. Aquí tenemos Inform like... Pero like, no. Sí lo conocemos bien, pero no. Ok, influence. Inform. Inform. Mention. Yeah. I'm sorry, which one? Ah, mention. Yeah, mention. mention. Mencionar, mention. Yes. Move. move. Mover. Mover, move. Form. Maybe you... I'm Need. sorry, which? Form. Form. Formar, form. And need. Eh, which one? I'm sorry, could you repeat? Need. Need de necesitar. Yes. Mm, ¿Creen? Need, necesitar, need, need, need. Puede que sí. No. Quizás sí, no. Que... Yo creería que no mucho. Pero si ustedes consideran, need, necesitar. No. No. Tal vez, suppose, suponer, suponer, suppose. Reveal. Could be wonder. Wonder. No, porque wonder es preguntarse. Wonder, no. Remove. Reveal. Or rem uh, result. Ok, result. result. Yes, resultar. Result. Replace. Replace, yeah. Reveal. Reveal, revelar, reveal, right? Okay. Maybe we can have... Relate, arriba. Relate. Row, row, row three. Relacionar. Relate. Remember one, accept. Accept, of course. Admit. Yeah. Okay. Vamos a hacer la pausa hasta acá. Ok, look at this. I know it is like a kind of complicated. Try to remember all of the verbs that you want to have in your mind always. Que ustedes quieren tener muchos verbos siempre. Um, but if you read, uh, for example, any paragraph, You're going to find a lot of these cognates. Estos se llaman cognates. Son verbos que se parecen en español y en inglés. Let's count. Vamos a contar. One, two, three. Y aquí faltan otros que no hemos eh, elegido. But well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. We have uh, 54 verbs from the uh, 200 verbs that I present you. Come on. Can you notice? How many verbs you can identify? ¿Se dan cuenta cuántos verbos pueden identificar? Y eso que no pusimos, disappear, desaparecer, discover, descubrir, ¿verdad? So, we have some other like catch, que te es cachar, que nosotros, eso es un Spanglish, ¿ok? Eh, clear, aclarar, bueno, quizás este no tanto. Take. Okay. Take, de tomar. Yes, take. 
take, puede ser take, tomar, yeah, could it be? So, um, I'm going to send this uh, image, voy a enviarles esta imagen, because you can have screenshot, but maybe it is not the high quality, and you need high quality for this because there are 200 verbs. So, this exercise was especially just for you to notice that you are very intelligent and you can notice you can realize and discover a lot of verbs that maybe are not in your mind, but you know what it means. Ustedes saben qué significa. So, uh, English is based on logical. El inglés es basado en la lógica. So, that's it. So, es una manera para uh, motivarlos y para alentarlos, para que ustedes vean que no están perdidos. Okay. Uh, I need you to make uh, some questions. Uh, les voy a enviar en este momento. Solo espero que me cargue. Voy a enviarle este, um, la lista de, de, de estos verbos. Considero, I consider that it's very important to have a uh, different kinds of list, pero no, not for you to understand, to, to memorize uh, the complete list, but for you to have an idea what verbs can you use in sentences, in conversation, especially in descriptions or giving opinion. Para eso son los verbos para saber en qué podemos dar opinión, describir y utilizarlos tal cual. Ok, so uh, let me see. We are having this. I'm going to send in this moment. So what, what activity are we going to do now? We're going to make questions in English. Vamos a hacer preguntas en inglés utilizando el did. Son preguntas cerradas. So all of the word, all the, the, the questions are going to have did at the beginning. Todos van a tener vida al inicio. Ok. Se lo permítanme. En este momento les voy a enviar ya la. I'm going to send this. I'm waiting for this to load. Ok. Here I have it. Okay. Okay, my friends, here you have it. Aquí lo tienen. And um, you can, if you want, you can use this, this list of verbs. Pueden utilizar una, esta lista de verbos, si ustedes quieren. Esa es la que, la que le, les acabo de enviar. And uh, to make questions. But if you want to make some questions, with uh, what with some other verbs that you want yes no problem me avisan si ya les llegó no todavía no les ha llegado i don't know the internet is so slow tonight i'm having a lot of problems i'm having a lot of difficulties with this internet tonight Yes. Creo que ya lo tiene, right? Okay. And we're going to make questions. For example, this. Did you invest your money? ¿Y qué estás preguntando? ¿Invertiste tu dinero? Did you invest your money? Now you have like uh, different examples how to make questions, okay? So I'm going to wait for your questions here. Voy a esperar por sus preguntas acá. How many, teacher? Only one. Only one in the chat. Solo una en el chat, okay?
Ok, my friends. Vamos a ver entonces acá a quién tenemos. Just let me see. Okay, uh, let's see here. Okay, we're going to start with some of you. Maybe we start with Noé and then Guillermo. Please, Noé, tell Did me. Did you drink coffee yesterday? Good one. Hasta la agregaste yesterday. That's a good point. Guillermo and Maritza. Did you eat tacos? Good one. Maritza uh, and then Daniel. Did you, did you work today? Ok. Eso lo puedes preguntar al final del día. Dien, ¿trabajaste hoy? Ok. Yeah, could it be. But at the end, you... Uh, okay. It is difficult to use this in the morning. ¿Trabajaste hoy? It's like, no, no. But maybe in the afternoon or at night. Yeah. Good. Daniel and Susie. Hello, Daniel. Sorry, teacher, I have a problem with the line. Okay. No problem. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can have Susie and then David. Hello. Okay. Maybe we can have now Susie. Not Susie. Okay. And let's listen to David and Gustavo. Okay, teacher. Did you drive to the park in the in this morning? Okay, this morning, yeah. Uh, Gustavo and John. Okay, okay, teacher. Did you visit the client on Monday? Mm-hmm. Okay, you can ask this mm -hmm. uh, that, that question today, well, or yesterday, but not Monday, maybe Tuesday on some other days, yes. Um, we go with uh, John, right, and did Rosalie. You close, did you close the bathroom door? Mm -hmm. Good one. And Rosalie, please. Did you follow my page? Okay, did you follow my page? Yeah, good. So um, I'm going to write some adverbs. Voy a escribir un par de adverbios. Okay, look at this. Uh, here we have this adverb of time, some adverbios de tiempo. Teacher, ¿qué son los adverbios de tiempo? Ustedes ya los conocen. Yesterday, uh, you can say last night, uh, last uh, week. Last month, Tomorrow. last year, three years ago. Okay, so in this case, you can have like different. Uh, okay, Evelyn, can you read yours, please? Puedes leer la tuya. Did you eat it? Mm -hmm. Did you eat it? Se, las dos palabras se pronuncian igual. Did you eat it or eat it? Bien extraña eso. Ok. So we're going to make another question. Hagamos otra pregunta. But use this uh, adverse of time. Yesterday. Si alguien usó yesterday, puede ser last night, last week, last month, last year. You can say also last uh, Friday. Ok. And if you want to say um, years ago, always questions, okay? Did you work last night? Did you send email last month? Did you visit Colombia three years ago? These phrases goes at, I'm sorry, these phrases go at the end. Siempre van al final, okay? I'm going to wait for your questions. Espero sus preguntas, please.
Okay, let's listen to some of your questions. And we're going to start this time with Rosalie and David. Okay, Rosalie, please raise your question. Okay, did you run in the park yesterday? Good, David and Maritza. Did you study last week? Thank you, Maritza and Susie. Did you go to the beach last month? Mm -hmm. Good. And we go did, Evelyn and Guillermo. Did you go to the Spain five years ago? Yes, very nice. Thank you. Evelyn and Guillermo. Thank you, Susie. Did you laugh little money? Uh, no sé qué quieres decir ahí. Sí, pero el verbo en principal, ¿cuál es el verbo? Last es un verbo que se eh, es durar. Te duró eh, el viernes el dinero. ¿Eso quiere decir? No, tuviste dinero. Did. Ah, entonces, have. Did you have money the last Friday? Recuerda que last Friday tiene que ir al final de la oración. Ok, thank you. Guillermo and Daniel. Okay, did you travel to Colombia last year? Yes, Daniel in Noé. Did you go to the stadium last week? Mm -hmm, the stadium, yeah, good. Noé and John. Okay, Noé, yours. Did, did you send the report yesterday? Perfect. And John, please. Did you call your mother yesterday? Mm -hmm. Very interesting question. Thank you. So, if you notice, uh, the questions not necessarily should have these phrases. You can say, "Did you call your mother?" Yeah, but you can be more specific. You did you call your mother yesterday? Did you call your mom last weekend? You can be more specific. So that's part, and that is the order of the words. Okay. Well. Now that we have this, we're going to have these worksheets. And um, look at this. Look, what are we going to do here? ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Make simple past positive, negative, or questions. Okay. Um, let me tell you this. Here we have some clues. Tenemos algunas pistas. Not. Si tenemos la palabra not, obviously, it is negative questions. Si no tiene not ni el signo de interrogación, it's affirmative. Aquí como tenemos el signo de, de, de interrogación, ok. Aquí tenemos las otras palabras, what time. Pero siempre después de what time or where by it did, ok. No problem with this. Um, aquí está otra, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Esta es pregunta. Look at this, aquí está el signo de, de interrogación. Okay, so uh, try to follow your logical. Vamos a seguir nuestra lógica, okay? And maybe we can have screenshot of this. Podemos tener una captura de pantalla. Okay, thank you, John. Here we have 10 uh, sentences. And let's see here. Okay, let's work on this and then we continue with this, the last part. Just 10 sentences. Vamos a trabajar con estas 10 oraciones y, y luego regresamos, okay? And I'm going to, yeah, we're going to work like this, maybe. Okay, my friends, see you in a moment.
Okay, my friends, let's complete this. We have just two more activities and we finish. Remember here we have uh, affirmative, negative, and question. So let's see who wants to start. Quien quiere comenzar? Hi, teacher. Okay, please, David. What number? Number one. Okay. I didn't drink any beer last night. Oh, that's perfect. No te creo, pero muy bien. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, what about Daniel? What number? Number, number 10 uh, is question. Uh, uh, was, was you make good coffee? Okay, eh, vamos a ver. Eh, vaya, no podemos utilizar el was porque no hay, hay verbo to be aquí. Eh, ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que utilizamos? Where? Did. Mm -hmm. Did. Ajá, sería. Did she make good Coffee. Lo pongo así porque le he hecho zoom. Uh -huh. Esa es la número 10. Did she make a good coffee? Okay. Thank you, Daniel. John, what about you? Number number four. Where okay, did go. you get? Where did you get of the train? Yes. Correct, my friend. Did you get uh, the train? Okay. Who else? There are some others. We're about to finish. Mm -hmm. Maybe Noé or uh, Maritza. Okay, I'm going to try it. Okay. Number six. Mm -hmm. We did wake up very late. Almost, almost. This is affirmative. Uh, do you know how wake up is in past? Woke up. Yes. Bingo. Okay, thank you. Rosalie? Number two. Mm -hmm. She went on the bus in the oh. center of the city. Thank you. But the pass of get is got. Don't go. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got on. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Daniel? You have other? The number nine. We didn't use the computer last night. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Okay, who else? Thank you, Daniel. Okay. We're about almost to finish. Here are one, two, three, four more sentences. Maybe Maritza or uh, Gustavo. Number seven. Mm -hmm. What did he give his mother for Christmas? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. What if we listen to... Gustavo or Susi? Number five. Number five. I didn't, I didn't change trains at Victoria. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Okay, here we have uh, two more. Maybe John can help us. Yes, uh, number three. Um... What time did he get up yesterday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And maybe we can have Noé with number eight. That's affirmative, I guess. I, I did receive. It's uh, regular. Mm -hmm. I received. 
Okay, thank you. Something that I want to explain, it's some open questions. Vamos a ver las preguntas que son abiertas. En el caso de las preguntas abiertas, vean el formato de Look at This. Si les quitamos el what y el to todo eso, si les quitamos esas palabras que son iniciales, siempre van a llevar el did al inicio. Noten esto. Siempre va la misma forma. Did, did, did. Ok. But eh, we use, utilizamos las otras palabras porque son preguntas abiertas. Si alguien les pregunta a alguien... Do you like coffee? ¿Te gusta el café? Yes, en presente. Pero si le preguntan, why do you like coffee? ¿Por qué te gusta el café? So the answer eh, can have variations. Ya no la respuesta va a ser sí o no. Va a ser, ah, because I like it, because it's eh, interesting, lo que sea. Ahora, did en pasado, la respuesta siempre va a ser yes or no. Pero si ya le agregamos otra, otras palabras como what time, What time did he get up yesterday? Si solo preguntamos, did he get up yesterday? Se despertó, se levantó ayer? Yes, no. Pero si preguntamos, what time? ¿A qué hora? La respuesta ya no va a ser yes or no. La respuesta va a ser at seven, at eight, at nine. Vamos a ver otro ejemplo. Eh, did you get the train? Imagínense que fuese así. Eh, ¿Tomaste el tren o agarraste el tren? Yes, no. Pero cuando le, le preguntamos, where did you get the train? ¿Dónde agarraste el tren? Entonces, ah, en San Salvador, en San Jacinto, en California, en México, lo que sea. La respuesta varía. Ya no son preguntas cerradas, sino que son preguntas abiertas. Ok, questions uh, so far, my friends. Preguntas hasta acá. Sé que es un, un tema un poquito extenso. Pero si se dan cuenta, hemos tenido bastante práctica, bastante práctica, afirmative, negative. He intentado ir un poco despacio con eso para no, eh, para no saturarlos, ¿verdad? Eh, tomorrow we're not going to have classes. Mañana no tenemos clases, así que pueden disfrutar de la noche eh, de la manera como ustedes gusten, ¿verdad? Recuerden que solo nos van quedando, déjenme ver, siete clases. Ok, eh, nos tocaría from Monday to Friday next week and Monday and Tuesday, y lunes y martes de la otra semana, and we finished. So uh, I recommend you, now that you have this information, you can work on the unit number three. Yo creo que ya tienen la base suficiente para terminar la unidad tres. Ok, so if you have some doubts, you can text me. Si tienen dudas, me escriben cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Y podemos ver qué se puede hacer. Solo que siempre hay que intentar la respuesta de diferentes maneras, ¿ok? So, uh, I'm going to check the attendance list. We're going to have John at the end of the class. ¿No te has quedado, John, verdad, en la sesión? Ah, oh, ok. Ok, please. Ok. So, I'm going to call you one by one. You say hi, hello, good evening, and we're about to finish, ok? And let's listen here. Daniel, hi. Present. Thank you. Okay, Adi, not here. Ana Cristina, I don't know. Elias, Rivas, no. Okay. Uh, David. Present teacher, good evening. Thank you. Okay, Doris Alejandra, no. Evelyn. Present. Thank you, Graciela, no. Guillermo, I guess he disconnected. Maybe he had some difficulties. Jose Andres, no. By now, uh, John, hi. I am here. Uh, good evening, everybody. Well, good night, everybody. Uh, see, you to, see you Monday? Monday, yeah. That's it, on Monday, okay. Katia is listener. Uh, Maritza? Present, good night. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Marvin, no. Noe, hi. Hi, teacher, present. 
Thank you, Gustavo. Ok, no, Gustavo, Oscar, no. Rosalí, ay, Rosalí. Good night, see you Monday. Bye bye, Susi. Teresa. Uh, good night, sure. thank you, teacher. Ok, have a good night, my friends. Nos vemos hasta el lunes, descansen, disfruten la noche del viernes. More, ok, my friends, see you. Traten de avanzar, unidad 3. Ok, teacher, see you. Bye bye. bye, bye good friend. night. Good night, everybody. Good Have a good night. Bye bye. Have a nice week, guys. Yeah, of course, of course. Okay. Um. Let's see. In this case, John, one question: Have you ever okay, taken this, some more? Uh, okay. Uh, could you could you explain to me? Once more, the past simple along with its its rules and structures and structures. Okay, okay. Uh, you have you have there like uh, the images that I have sent, right? Mm -hmm. You know uh, the verbs, list of verbs. So maybe we can work on the structure of as you are saying, right? Okay, yes. we're going to work with here. Let me check. Affirmative. We're going to work with negative. And we're going to work with question. Okay. And here we have regular and irregular. Okay. So in affirmatives, uh, we can have like this. Um something simple regular i called my mother yesterday okay so that uh, sentence we can have it in negative like this but we have like this i didn't call my mother yesterday right and for questions Easy. Okay. So if you notice, here we have a structure, very simple structure in the case of here we have verb ing. Okay. I'm sorry. Um Verb with ing here, right? Mm -hmm. And here we have some other negative, didn't. Verb doesn't change and question did. These words that are underlined, I consider that the most important. These are the most important words. Okay. Cold because it is in past with ed. Negative because it has didn't. And did because it has a uh, light like auxiliary. Now, if you notice here, the verb changes. Here, changes like this. And this doesn't change. This doesn't change. Okay. Um, here we have the complement. My mother yesterday, my mother yesterday, this is the complement. That's the complement. Um, so that's it. We're going to Establish now the irregulars, okay? Affirmative, negative, question, okay? So in this case, we can have affirmative like this. I, uh -huh, I took my medicine last night okay this is the affirmative this is here and i don't know if we're going to have this in the question so we said okay
le vamos a cambiar. We're going to change the take. Para que tenga más lógica. Ok. So. Look at this. And in here. We're going to use this. For this. And. Again. I'm sorry. This is not working good. Okay. So, similar. Yes. Verb. Took. This verb. Here we have didn't. Did. If you notice, didn't, did, it applies for regular and irregular. It is in general. No yes. distinction. But something that you have to take into account is basically the verb. Yeah, the verb changes. Look at this, this verb. Okay. So what is there? We have to take into account affirmatives. These are maybe the most difficult, affirmatives and affirmatives, because negative is easy. Negative is the verb in the base form. You use didn't. Question, easy, because you have the verb in the base form, right? Yes. We did. Yes. But affirmatives are the most complicated because with the regular verbs, you have to add ed, right? And with the irregular verb, it changes. The verb changes. So... I don't know if you want more examples because this is maybe the the, the the part that maybe you can have like more, like clearer. Uh, the verb, it is very, it's very detailed in here. So do you have some other questions about this? Because if you notice, didn't, did, but the affirmatives are the, the most problematic in this case, John. Yes. And the complement yes. is the same. No problem. My mother yesterday, my mother yesterday, my medicine last night, my medicine last night. So is the first part. Solo son las primeras tres palabras. The first three words are the key. Okay. The son las claves. Nice mm -hmm. teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, okay. Did you did you got a screenshot from here? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect, John. So I guess uh, you have a very good English. I want to congratulate because you speak English every time that you can. And I am pretty sure that you have the skill, you have the ability, and you're going to learn more and more. So congratulations, yes. my friend. Yeah, you have very good English. Remember that we have to memorize and acquire more vocabulary. But anyway, you have good fluency. Good fluency, good pronunciation. So you're doing good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, my friend. Do you have any other questions related to, to this, maybe, or no? Only this year, only. Thank you. Okay. I see Perfect. you. Okay. Nice. Okay. It, it was a pleasure, my friend. So see you on Monday. If you have any doubt, please, you can text me. Okay. 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 Good night. Uh, good night, my friend. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you Monday. See you Monday.